With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is give the formula of the compounds formed from the following sets of elements, right? So the first one is calcium and fluorine. So the symbol for calcium is CA and the symbol for fluorine is F. Right, calcium has a tendency to lose two electrons and hence gains a valency of plus two. And fluorine has seven electrons in its valence shell and needs one to complete its octet. That is why it has a valency of minus one. Right, if you interchange the valencies, then the formula you will get will be CaF2. Right, so CaF2 will be the chemical formula for this. Talking about the B part, in the B part you have hydrogen and sulfur. So, talking about hydrogen and sulfur, the symbol for hydrogen is H and the symbol for sulfur is S, right? Now, sulfur, uh, hydrogen has a valency of plus 1 because it has to lose one electron to attain a noble gas configuration. And sulfur has to gain two electrons to complete its octet, which means that it has a minus 2 valency. So, if you uh, interchange the valencies, what you will get? H2S, right? So, H2S will be the chemical formula for this, right? Now, talking about the C part, the C part is nitrogen and hydrogen. So, you have nitrogen here and hydrogen here. Now, nitrogen has a tendency to gain three electrons, right? So, it will have a valency of minus three and hydrogen has a tendency to gain one electron, to lose one electron. So, it has a valency of plus one. So, when you interchange the formulas, you will get NH3, right? NH3 will be the chemical formula for this. Talking about the D part, you have carbon and chlorine. So, you have carbon and you have chlorine over here, right? And um, now, carbon has a valency of plus 4 because it can either gain or lose 4 electrons. In this case, it will have plus 4 because we have chlorine along with it and chlorine has a tendency to lose one electron, to uh, gain one electron and hence gain a valency of minus 1, right? So, the formula will become, if you interchange the valencies, the formula will become C, Cl, Four, right this will be the formula now talking about the e part the e part has sodium and oxygen so you have na and oxygen now sodium also has a tendency to uh, lose one electron and uh, gain a plus one charge whereas oxygen has a tendency to gain two electrons and have a minus two charge so if you interchange the valencies you will get na2o right now talking about the f part in the f part you have carbon and oxygen so again oxygen has a tendency to gain two electrons and gain a charge of minus two whereas carbon has a tendency to lose four electrons so if you interchange the valencies the formula that you will get will be c2o4 which can be reduced to co right taking two common you can reduce the formula to co2 right and you can also interchange the arrows over here because we are doing it in the downward direction so this is how the arrows would look like and yeah, that's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.